Hello YouTube makeup lovers, welcome back to my channel. If you're new to be Lounge Makeup, I really hope that you guys stick around and subscribe for more videos. So it is right now, actually, it is 11.58 p.m. I actually just got home from a concert. I saw the Chayang concert here in Miami. He was awesome and amazing. And since I was all dressed up, hair done, makeup done, I thought, why not? I'll film my beauty favorites because I had a ton of beauty products that I wanted to share with you guys. So if I look a little tired, um, it is because it's gonna be, it's like midnight already pretty much. I actually filmed earlier today. I filmed the shopping haul from the Sephora VIB Rouge sale. So I'll go ahead and link that down below. I went to the concert, came back, and now I'm gonna do the beauty favorites. So as always, I'm gonna go ahead and link everything that I mentioned in the description box down below, and we better get started with my current beauty favorite. So my first beauty favorite is this palette from Charlotte Tilbury. This is the Pillow Talk palette, and this I got at Nordstrom. Really, I actually got it at Nordstrom.com, and it is a really beautiful quad. I actually only use pretty much three of these colors. I like to use these three colors right here. This one right here is just very chunky and glittery and I'm really not that big of a fan of that one. So that one I'm actually not using. I have tried using that shade wet with my finger, you know, with a sticky base under it and I just don't seem to like how it looks. Um, so I just don't use that one. But the other three shades are beautiful. They're great shades for the crease. They blend so nicely. I mean, it's definitely worth it for those three. I loved it. I've taken it to travel with me and it's pretty much all you need in the crease and all those blending shades. And I just have really been enjoying it. And then this lighter one, I do like to use under the brow. It's a very subtle lighter color, but it looks really pretty under the brow. But these two, oh my God, I love these two crease shades and it is just a really great quad. So I really like this one and it's um, the Pillow Talk one, which whatever they do that they call Pillow Talk is always amazing with Charlotte Tilbury. Next from IT, this is the Your Most Beautiful You Laugh, Love, Live. This is a bronzer highlight and blush palette. It's like a peachy blush and I have really been loving it as well. This I actually got, if I'm not mistaken, I got it in my Makeup by Mario bag when I went to his master class and I pulled it out a few months ago and I've been really liking it. The bronzer is beautiful, the highlight is beautiful, the pink, the pink, not pink, the peach blush is beautiful, which is very strange for me because I'm really not that much into peach blushes, but this one I really, really liked. And I think this is just like, a lot of what you need to do your makeup is in this one palette. So I think this is a really good purchase. Also, again, it's really great for travel. So I did take it on my last trip when I went to New York and I used it a lot, but I have been using it ever since as well. And it's just really, really good. And all the colors are really beautiful, like the bronze, just goes on flawlessly, it blends nice, it doesn't look muddy, and I just really, really like that palette. Another blush that I really love, which is more my style of blush that I usually kind of, you know, gravitate towards, is from Flower Beauty, and this is the Flower Pots Powder Blush in Sweet Pea. I'm not sure if I've had this as a favorite before. I know I loved it a lot last year as well, but lately it's something that I have been using every single day. This is pretty much what I wear to work every single day. Um, they have a brighter pink, but I like this one better. It's just more of a rosy glow. It is just such a beautiful blush shade. It's just, I don't know, it just gives you that nice, glowy, healthy, pink type of cheek, but without overdoing it. So this one I really like. And then I have another blush that I also love from Cargo. And this is what it looks like. This blush is in Ibiza. Again, this is another one that I got in that Makeup by Mario bag, which I'm really using this one a lot as well. I just kind of gravitate towards the pinks. So I've been using these two in the pink tones and then the one from the palette in the peachy tone and I love it. And then from Cargo, I also love the matte bronzer. It's also in the same cargo packaging and then the back just says that the color is just matte or it just it's just called matte that's all it says in the back 
but I love it as well. Also came in the Makeup by Mario bag. So I have just been using these two a lot on a daily basis. It's a really beautiful bronzer. They're just really pretty shades. Again, this bronzer doesn't look muddy. It's something that you can add a lot on your skin and it's not like you're gonna, you know, you're not gonna overdo it. You know what I mean? I feel like I don't know, it kind of reminds me of the Fenty blush that I just shared with you guys in the beauty haul that I posted before this video. That actually I got from my mom, but when I, you know, kind of swatched them, it was a very subtle type of bronzer, and this is also a subtle type of bronzer. So I just really, I don't know, I just have been really liking these two cargo products, and it's not really a brand that I, you know, really use all that much. I have used stuff from them in the past, but I mean, had it not been because it was in that bag, I probably would not have tested them out and I'm really glad that they were because I use them all the time. For the body, I'm loving this Champagne Charcoal Scrub. This is from the brand Mana Kadar and this I actually got in my Fat Fit Fun subscription. So it is looks like this, it smells really good. It has beautiful i love the exfoliants in it it's one of those that are like my style of body scrubs i like scrubs you know i like to feel that i'm scrubbing i don't want to be like super abrasive but i hate those scrubs that are very very light that you can't even tell that they just kind of like disappears onto the skin i really like to feel that scrub and i scrub because i like to have all this so nice and soft and and I feel like I achieved that with a good scrub. And this is a good scrub. I'm really, really enjoying this a lot. So I actually have two foundations that I have really been loving. One is in a liquid form and one is in the stick form. And the very first one is the Dior Forever Skin Glow Foundation. And this one I use a shade 2N. This is one that I've really been enjoying. I have mentioned this before, but I always do really well with Dior foundations. It kind of like, you know, we have a good mix together and every time I buy a Dior foundation I end up falling in love with it and this has been no different. I like this. It is a medium coverage foundation but it makes you look nice and healthy and dewy. This one says that it's 24 hour radiant perfection wear. It does have sunscreen. It has SPF 35 but I have worn this night and day and I like it. It does last a long time. It does have medium coverage. It builds up well but I don't think you can really take it up to the high coverage. But I just really been enjoying it because I feel like it covers me. I kind of look flawless, but it still looks healthy and glowy. And I still feel that when I wear this foundation, I look made up. So if you like that look, you're going to love this foundation. It's really, really good. And then from Bare Minerals, I'm really enjoying this one. This is a stick foundation. It is called the Complexion Rescue Hydrating Foundation Stick. I got the shade Buttercream. And again, this is also a really great foundation. I would say it's similar. It just, I don't know, it goes on very nicely. It's very smushy because it's very hydrating and it just goes on very easily, blends really well, but then your skin looks nice and flawless. Also medium to light coverage and it's one that I've been wearing a lot to go to work. I've also worn it in the evening. I feel like the color buttercream kind of tricked me a little bit because when I first applied it, I was like, oh my God, this is going to be way too yellow. But then as you blend it in, it blends out perfectly. I don't feel that it's too yellow for me. And because I usually do like the warmer type of foundations, warm towards like neutral. I don't want it to be so, so yellow. And this one at first seemed really yellow, but it's actually not. It blends out really, really nicely. And I've just been really liking it. It feels very nourishing on the skin, very hydrating. Like I said, it blends nicely. It's really creamy, but it feels really, really good. And you can even tell like when you apply it, it just gets kind of like, you know, creamy and squishy in the stick. So it is also a very, very good foundation stick. So really enjoying these two foundations, been using them both. You can use them night or day. I tend to use this one a little bit more towards the evening and this one more towards the daytime. But I mean, you can pretty much use them both for the same way. It's a type of foundation that I personally like. I have dry skin. So usually I gravitate towards those more dewy, hydrating type of foundations. I also don't love to be super full coverage, but I do like to cover here and there light to medium. Um, sometimes medium a little bit to the full coverage, but I really never want to achieve like a full on 
full coverage look so those foundations really do it for me i really really like them so i have some favorite brushes that i have been loving from the jaclyn hill collection from morphe i bought the whole collection in one of my crazy shopping hauls i know i filmed it and i posted it i'll go ahead and link it down below but i ended up getting the whole collection and there are really some brushes that i have been enjoying some brushes are like eh I didn't really need it, but the ones that I least expected, I really, really loved. The very first one that I'm enjoying is this JH05, and this one looks like this. This is one that I like to apply my under eye setting powder. I kind of either like to apply it like this, and then I like to swish it off with this brush. And then for shadow, I have been using these two, the JH30 and the JH32, which they're tapered brushes, but they're a little bit bigger than the ones that I would normally have used. I would always use like the Sigma E25, kind of like the MAC. Was it, what is the number the MAC? I can't believe 217 is that the number. It's been so long since I have bought that MAC brush, but that's kind of like where it all began. The, the nice blending brush. And I still use that one a lot, but I also use these now that are a lot more poofier and it just achieves so many things. Like I can't even believe that I didn't use one like that i feel like for blending in the crease it just makes such a difference especially this one and it's kind of like the brushes that i use at first before i use the e25 from sigma before because i feel like that one's a little bit more you know if you use a darker color i like the e25 it's more blend you know it's a blending brush but it's more accurate of a application whereas this one is more of a blending application so you kind of it all just looks nice before you start applying the darker color. So I have been really using these two and same same with this one. It's just, I just use them both and I love it. I always try to keep, you know, one kind of clean for more blending, the other one more for the application. And um, it's just been really working out. Oh, I actually forgot to mention the, with the Forever Skin Glow Foundation, I love applying the Hollywood Flawless Filter under that foundation. I just kind of go in with this first and then I go in with this one. That is also kind of why it's more of a nighttime type of foundation for me. I think this was a favorite in my last beauty favorites, but I wanted to tell you guys that together, these are perfection. I love these two together. From Pharmacy, the Clean Bee Ultra Gentle Facial Cleanser. This is a cleanser that I took when I went to New York and I loved it. It's pretty much been sitting in my shower ever since I got back. I always like to alternate my face washes, but it's one that I have really been enjoying. I feel like it just feels so nice and clean. It smells really good and it just like lathers real nice. It doesn't make my skin feel like, you know, like tight. It just, it just feels so, so nice. And I feel like it, I mean, I always take off my makeup before I actually use it, but I feel like once I'm in the shower, after I have taken off my makeup, it just takes clear, cleans everything out really, really well. So I just really like it. It's one that is on my list to buy the full size. But I'm gonna be good and I'm not gonna buy the full size till after I finish this whole thing because it's a pretty big, it's a pretty big size. Um, Iconic London, this is the Illuminator. This is in the original shade. And this one I actually got at the Morphe store when I bought, you know, the brushes and some palettes. And it is just like a wow type of highlighter. I mean, look at this thing. Look how beautiful it is. Again, this is like a highlighter that I would use in the evening because it's like va 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 voom. It's like really beautiful right in your face right there. It's like you're like shining and you know how they say that you can see your highlight from outer space. That is how I feel when I wear that one. And then this one is a little, a lot more subtle, the Dandelion Shy Beam. This is one that I have been pulling out a lot when I go to work and I it kind of looks like this. It's kind of like a peachy type of color but then it looks really nice when you like blend it in. It just, it's kind of like a pinky, pearly type. Let me blend it in here. I don't know if you can see that, but it's kind of like a pinky, pearly type of thing. And what I like to do is after I have all my, you know, my foundation is on, I've done my concealer, I just kind of do a couple lines like here. And I just kind of like blend it in with my finger or with a beauty blender. And I feel like it just very subtly brightens that area a little bit more. And I just think it's something that, it's kind of like a matte highlighter pretty much. It, it highlights, it makes it brighter without any shimmer. So I just really, really like it. It actually says here, 
Yeah, it's called the Nude Pink Matte Radiance Highlighter. So that, that is a description in the back. And that's exactly, that's, that's exactly what it is. It just highlights you, but without having to have, you know, any crazy glow like that, which is just beautiful. But I don't wear this to work. Nail polishes. So I have two nail polishes that I have been loving. There's actually a third nail polish that I loved. I wore it, it lasted two weeks, and I don't know which one it is. I know it's between three, but I wasn't gonna be like, one of these I love. There was a one that was more like white tone that lasted on me for two weeks. It was such a beautiful color. And I have it there. I mean, I have three colors that I took to the salon that day to do my nails, and we picked one, and I loved it, but I don't know which of the three I picked because they were just so similar, so I can't show you that one. But there's two more that I really loved, and these I do remember. The first one is Baguette Me Not. This is just like a beautiful pinky, lavendery color. This one is more towards the pink. And then this one is Ginza, which looks kind of white on camera, but it's actually very lavender. It is the one I have on my nails right now. And even though this is already like a week and a half old manicure, but it's lasted a really long time. I mean, this is a week and a half old. I mean, my manicure is awesome, but I mean, this color is the best. But anyways, this is Ginza and Baguette Me Not. And they're just both really pretty colors. I think they're beautiful colors for the spring, for the summer. And it's just like colors that I like. They cover so well, just with like the first coat, you're pretty much covered. So for the second coat, it's just like perfection. For the hair, this way leaving conditioner, I'm also really enjoying it. It smells so good. I love how it smells. Like since if the product is good and it smells good, it's a keeper for me. And this is how I feel about this leave-in conditioner. It smells so good. I just love applying it when I get out of the shower and it just detangles your hair so nicely. It smells good. Did I really say that? A million times I'm gonna say that it smells good, but it detangles your hair so well. I love the way it feels. And I actually got this also in a Fat Fit Fun prescription subscription i think i got this in one of my fat fit funds pretty sure but i love it it's a really great brand i definitely want to try more products from the way brand i've tried the dry shampoo i tried that dry shampoo that is like a foam and the one that you know that comes out in a spray but i hadn't tried the leave-in conditioner in this one i'm really really enjoying it. i have to see they have a heat protectant do you know if they have a heat protectant and if it's good because i would probably want to try that too but this one very very good very good um, leave-in conditioner for the hair. Another favorite product that I absolutely have been loving and I highly recommend, and I know it's pricey, it is the Reiki Skinny Mirror. This is the bomb. This is called the Reiki Skinny. It's a mini lighted vanity mirror, has a Bluetooth selfie function and a three times magnification. And this is what the box looks like. Let me show you what the box brings so that you kind of see everything that this has so that you kind of see everything that it comes with, but it is the best. It is the best mirror. I cannot believe I traveled so much without having this in my life, and now I have it all. I haven't even used the cell phone. It has like, this is what you put the cell phone on, which I haven't even used that. Obviously the cord to like charge it. It comes with the charger, and it comes with another magnifying mirror that you can kind of attach to the front. So I haven't even used that mirror or the selfie thing, you know, the, the phone thing, but the mirror is the bomb. This is what it looks like. I shared it with you guys. There's my camera. I shared it in my hotel room when I went to New York, but this is like the best mirror. It lights up so much. Like you see there, it's like, that's a first light. Then it gets brighter, 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 and that's how bright it gets. So that's pretty bright. So that's one, two, three, four, five, four. I think it was four um, different types of lightings. The best, the best. It really doesn't even, you know, the battery lasts such a long time. You can recharge it. I mean, I took it also to Spain. I've taken it on two trips already. And like, I'm already thinking of how I'm gonna do it. Like, how am I gonna manage to buy the big one? I wanna buy the big one and put it in my vanity I just don't know how it's all gonna fit. But I would love to get the big one because it's just such an awesome mirror and it's just so beautiful and I've never seen, it's really tricky to buy lighted mirrors. I mean, the one I have in my vanity is a pretty good one. 
I think it's called, is it the Zador brand? I don't know, but it, that one costs like $110. And that one is a really good one, but this one is like better. And this one I got with a discount from Ipsy. I did not pay full price for it. They had like one of those discounted Ipsy deals since I have the, since I get the Ipsy Glam bag. You know, like these websites, you can always go back and you can buy products that they sell and they'll usually have really great offers. So I took advantage of an offer that they had for the Ricky Skinny, but I'm so glad I did because I was just so impressed at how bright the light gets. Like this is just a really good mirror, not just for travel. Oh, by the way, this is a stand. So it has a stand and you can just like lay it in the stand. But it's just like, it's not even for travel. You can just have this mirror on your vanity. That's how good it is. It's brighter than the one I have in my, in my vanity. And I thought that, that was like one of the best ones that I've been able to find, but it's very tricky. I have bought mirrors on Amazon. I have bought travel lighted mirrors elsewhere and they just suck. The lighting absolutely sucks and you guys know that hotel lighting really sucks. So if you like to have your mirror and you like to do your makeup, this is a really good investment. And I think I've only charged it once. I've used it on two different trips and I've only had to charge it once. So love it. It's a really great, great deal. It is pricey, but I feel like it's pricey because it's that good of quality and that really good of lighting. So um, I don't know, I'm gonna get the big one. I would love to, but I don't even know if it will even fit. I have to figure something out. But I have been, you know, like thinking a lot about changing the way my stuff is organized on top. I've been thinking of maybe taking, getting rid of the trays on the sides. So there's just a couple things that I wanted to maybe do on top with the top part of the vanity. I'm still gonna keep the Muji drawers because those are really, really comfortable for organizing your makeup. But I kind of was thinking of maybe putting the Muji drawers towards the sides and the big mirror in the middle. I don't know. I'm just kind of like brainstorming and going crazy because I'm obsessed with this Ricky Skinny. So I don't really know exactly what it is that I'm gonna do. So the last two products are from my crazy shopping haul when I went to or the Orlando outlet. And these I got from L'Occitane. The very first one is this lavender cologne. This is so good, you guys. It is so refreshing. I love it so much. This is, I mean, I have pretty much used a lot of it up since I got it, but I'll either put it on during the daytime, like before I leave the house, or just whenever I take my showers at night and wash my hair at night, which I love to like shower in the evening before I get to bed. I have this thing, I need to be, in, when I get in bed in the evening, I need to be nice and clean and refreshed on the whole day. And it just feels so good when you get out of your warm shower and you just like spritz this all over the place. It just, just feels so good, so refreshing. It's such a good, scent that's not going to be too heavy you know it's not heavy it's not overwhelming it just feels nice and clean and i just love it. it really reminds me of a mark jacobs cologne or yeah it was like a mark jacobs cologne which i still have it it's just so old but i don't remember if it was the biscotti one or the basil you know how mark jacobs has like those square, used to have like those square perfumes or colognes. Let me get them actually so I can just show you. These are the Marc Jacobs colognes that I'm talking about. I used to love these and I don't think I've seen these anymore. This is the basil and the biscotti. And these are some that I'm just like, I don't really wanna use them up just because I have such little left and I know you should because then they're gonna get bad and you know, it's, perfumes do expire. I mean, I've had them for years. Perfumes last a long time. But it reminds me of these type of scents. I think it was a biscotti that it reminds me more, more than the basil, but those were like my two favorites. I wish that they would come out with those again because I really love them. But this one is like that style. It's like one of those colognes that you can just put all over the place. You smell so good and you can put on like 10 spritz and you won't even feel overwhelmed at all and you won't even smell it later, but you just still smell so nice and clean and fresh and I love it. Then the last, item from L'Occitane, which I absolutely love, is the Relaxing Massage Body Oil. This I also got, it was like such a good price for this humongous bottle. This one is 16.9 fluid ounces. And I remember, I think this was $12, and they had a little bottle that was like half the product. It was glass, and that was like $27. And I remember one of the girls was like, take the big one, it's the same thing, except it's 12 bucks and it's like double the size. It's a plastic bottle, which I actually love because I kind of just put this in the shower. When I get out, you just kind of like pump it into your hand and I just lather in this oil and it just feels so good. It smells so good, it smells so clean. It's very convenient because you just have it in the shower and you do that, I don't have to worry about it slipping through my fingers and breaking and I love it. So when this runs out, I'm gonna get it. I'm already like 
here. You can see the liquid right there. And it is just so good. It is such a good body oil. So that is pretty much it. These were all my beauty favorite products that I have been using and abusing these past couple months. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel before you go. And as always, I just want to say thank you so much for watching Be Lounge Makeup. And I'll talk to you very, very soon. Bye.